I'm setting up for an experiment right now. I need to get one megahertz out of this coil right here. Shouldn't be that difficult. We are using an NPN for this test. And we're just a little bit over, but that's okay. That's right within the range. Now, this NTN should be able to push 30 volts easily. We're at 32 right there. We're still good there. Alright, good sign. We're already lighting up the light. Not bad at all. We're staying steady on the frequency and the lights lit up. Now, that's 32 volts. So now we know we have this light. And we're looking at about two and a half to three feet on that. We're going to go ahead and take this black light. You can't see much of it now, but look at that. Nice and bright. Now we're going to set up to see the variance in it. So, what do I mean by that? Okay, we're going to just look at the frequency now. Hopefully you can still see that. Let me try to move it in real quick. Okay, now I'm going to put the light next to it. That's how far we are away. You see it dropped a little bit. Right there. Max three inches away. It lights up bright. But you can see we're dropping down in frequency. Now. We have another test for this. And I have my gravity flyer connected to this. And I just want to show you the frequency drop in it. This right here is for the gravity flyer. Now why is there a long tube on there? I can put in the wire here without it sparking over and it goes semi straight down but that'll go right in the top here now let's look at the frequency again 888 so what does that mean on this coil If you want the gravity flyer connected to this and you want one megahertz, then about an inch and a quarter has to come off of this. That's about what it's going to be to put it at one megahertz with the gravity flyer attached. So, the question is do we want to build a second one or do we want to just lower this one and get it right? So, we can lower it. Cut a new pipe and rebuild it. That's fine. Just take about a day to get it reset once we get this one in residence where we want it with this attached. Now, there's no moving on the gravity fire or anything. It doesn't really affect it that much. The wire does. And that's where we're at on this. But the rest of it, as far as where it sits, everything like that, works out great. No smoke coming out of it means the wire isn't burning over. We're still at a very high frequency, just not high enough. So we're going to have to figure out which way to go. My personal recommendation on this, man, to get 1 megahertz with this attached, is very simple. We get it down to the right size, then we rewind another one so it looks nice and pretty, and there we go. We can keep this one the way it is for a 1 megahertz without it. 
but anytime you put anything next to it there's going to be a drop off so you really just have to decide where you want to be on it once you decide that boom all the coils are made easy frequency putting it right in the range you want it not real a problem so we do see though we have that attached to it it's getting some light but a lot of this already is going all the way to the gravity fire right now all that power yeah it lights up okay you can see the difference though check it out you see the top likes to light up more than the bottom because that wire is changing the frequency at the top a little bit on the bottom so let's check this just be thorough here there it is at the top right there in that top little spot see it's dropping that frequency more on the top put it back up to the top back to the bottom yeah you can see why it's a pain putting the wire down the center of this thing so then you gotta also decide you want the wire to go all the way down the center which would mean just getting some kind of a plastic shaft probably a, uh, a real thick straw or something goes down in there lock it in place then you could put that wire down there without it sparking over or just 3d print it either way but you can see the pitfalls of putting this thing in one megahertz when you want it with your gravity flyer if you didn't want it there hey great let's just you know pull the wire and that's where we're at anyway Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.